Hey guys, Tech Tech Man TV here with an overview of all the new Dell phones that were actually leaked tonight. And by tonight, I mean April 21st, 2010. There's four phones that were leaked tonight. This includes the Dell Lightning, the Dell Thunder, the Dell Flash, and the Dell Smoke. I'm going to start off this video with an overview of the Dell Lightning, which is a Windows Phone 7 phone, and all the other three phones are Android phones. Now, to begin, let me just go over the specs of this phone before I talk about it a little more. Basically, there's a 4.1-inch multi-touch WVGA OLED display on it. There's a 5 megapixel camera. There's a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor. There's 1 gigabyte of internal flash memory. 512 megabytes of RAM, and there's also an 8 gigabyte non user replaceable uh, micro SD card. Now, there's also a GPS, a compass, an accelerometer, and full FM support. And better than everything else I already said, there's Flash in the browser. Now, that's definitely a huge plus that the Dell Lightning does have Flash in the browser, and I'm sure a lot of you will even buy the phone purely because of that. Now, basically, in appearance, right now we have a few pictures, and the phone is black in every single one of the pictures. Basically, it's a QWERTY keyboard slide-out phone, but it's actually a portrait slider, so you're not going to be able to have a giant keyboard as if it was in landscape mode. And so from the pictures, we can tell that this phone is extremely thin, which is definitely a plus. I despise fat phones, and I'm sure a lot of you do, so you won't be disappointed with how thick this phone is. Now, there's a few buttons on this thing, including a back button and a search button, which is obviously standard to Windows Phone 7 phones. This phone is expected to come out quarter four of this year, and is also expected to get an upgrade to LTE in quarter four of 2011, which is definitely a long time from now, but just mentioning it. Now, moving over to the Dell Thunder, there's not as much known about this phone as there is for the Dell Lightning, at least at the moment. It does run Android, and it has the same exact screen as in the Dell Lightning, and if you don't remember, and you have a really bad memory, apparently, it's a 4.1 inch WVGA OLED display. It's not actually confirmed that there's a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor on this one, but that's what people are just assuming, and I'm sure that's correct if the Dell Lightning has it. There's also a custom Dell uh, UI over the Android, like uh, HTC Sense UI, etc. There's a Dell Stage UI. This actually looks very nice, and it actually has Facebook and Twitter integration into it. There's also Swipe for a touchscreen uh, keyboard replacement for this UI. Now, moving over to the browser, there is Flash 10.1 for watching videos, and even and better, Dell actually says that there's going to be a Hulu app coming to here, so it's going to be a great mobile Hulu experience on this phone. This phone also has an amazing 8 megapixel camera, so that's definitely great, an 8 megapixel versus the 5 megapixel on the Dell Lightning. This phone is also expected to be released quarter 4 of 2010, and quarter 4 for LTE as well. Now moving along to the third Dell phone that was just leaked in the past hour and a half or so, that is the Dell Flash. Now, the Dell Flash is running Android Froyo, the next generation slash next version of Android that's unreleased at the moment. This phone has a 3.5 inch WVGA LCD display, so not as great as the other two phones, the Dell Thunder and the Dell Lightning, but the display is still pretty nice. It has a 5 megapixel autofocus camera that actually has blink and smile detection, which is actually pretty cool. It has 512 megabytes of RAM and ROM. It has Wi-Fi. TV out, which is nice. There's also a headphone jack, Bluetooth 3.0, and all the other basic functions of a phone. It has a 800 megahertz Qualcomm MSM uh, 7230 processor. Now, the fourth and final phone that was leaked tonight by Dell is the Dell Smoke. So there's the same QWERTY keyboard, basically the same type of QWERTY keyboard as on the Palm Pixie, and then there's the similar screen on top of it where you don't have to slide out anything, you just have the keyboard and the screen right there. And then there's volume rockers on the right. This phone is black, and just looking at it, it looks pretty unique, actually. It looks a lot taller than the Palm Pixie, and I guess it does look a little bit like the Palm Pixie, so it's not completely unique in that form factor, but it's the first Android phone to be like this. So this phone is called the Dell Smoke, and it has a 2.8-inch QVGA display. It runs Android 2.2, aka Android Froyo. This phone has the same processor as last phone, so it has a Qualcomm MSM 7230 processor. There's also a 5 megapixel autofocus camera, a micro SD card expansion up to 32 gigabytes, Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and all those different functions. 
There's also dual mic noise cancellation. But yeah, guys, that's basically it for my overview of the Dell Lightning, the Dell Thunder, the Dell Flash, and the Dell Smoke. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Make sure to comment below which out of these four phones do you prefer. In my opinion, I prefer the Dell Thunder. It has a massive 4.1 inch display. It has a great display, a WVGA OLED, so that's why I like it. I also like Android, and I prefer it over the Windows Phone 7, similar phone, the Lightning, just because it has Android versus Windows Phone 7. But yeah, guys, that's basically it for this video. Thanks for watching.